<laughs> come, come on. Oh, man, what a win that was. Man United 3-1 against Arsenal. Four games, four wins on the bounce since getting beat 4-0. By Brentford, Manchester United have arrived under Eric Ten Hag with that win today. Arsenal, I thought, played pretty damn good football. They look a far better team this season than Mikel Arteta. But Man United there, in the moments that mattered, we came up with the sheer quality from the Christian Eriksen pass to Anthony scoring on his debut. Mwah! Yes, please. To that counter-attacking goal with Rashford. What a pass that was from Bruno. And then we got the third. We killed the game. Another counter-attack. What a pass. What a move from Ericsson. I mean, what's not to love about that game? Oh, the goon in Old Trafford must have been absolutely fantastic. Whoa, there's some cracking photos coming from that. Oh, man. Yes, please. That game today there, it was all about following it up. Liverpool, follow it up with Southampton, follow it up with Leicester there. Now we play top of the table, Arsenal, five wins on the bounce. What happens? We go and win 3-1. Oh, I can take a little breath now. But whoa, that, that game sort of left you a little bit out of breath. It felt a little bit like Arsenal and United of old. The quality of the football there on display was fantastic from both teams. It really, really was. And in the moments that mattered, we had the players that stood up to it. Marcus Rashford. <laughs> I'm speaking about you in a bit, but I can't not speak about this man. Look, he didn't have the most electrifying debut by any stretch of the imagination. He looked a little bit nervous at the start. A couple of shots. I was like, ooh, that's a bit weird. But Anthony there, what, what a pass. By the way, let's take a little bit of a pause here. I was going to mention this later, but sod this. Christian Eriksen. Another 90 minutes from Christian Eriksen. We were questioning his fitness, whether he'd be able to play the 10 half. Just park all those ridiculous worries and concerns. Absolutely outrageous pass from him. Outrageous. It was a fantastic, the sort of vision that you would expect from a player like Christian Eriksen. But great movements. Rashford, nice ball to Anthony, but he just opened his body up, man. And look what, I mean, that, that's not the most, that one there. Look at that photo. So much pressure and expectation on the lad. And I feel like you saw that in the first 10 minutes. But to open his body up, curl it into the bottom corner. Oh, Jogo Benito, indeed. That's a way to start your Manchester United career. Look at the celebrations. By the way, what the hell has Scott McTominay been eating? Uh, seriously, what has he been doing? In midfield again today, Scott McTominay got that yellow card towards the end, which you would kind of expect of Scott McTominay in every single game. But McTominay again was mustered. Let's stop questioning the decisions of Eric Ten Hag before when a starting 11 goes out, all right? Oh, McTominay starting again? Yeah, because we kept two clean sheets in the last two games, people. Defensively, he was sound against Southampton. Left a lot to be desired going forward. Leicester, fantastic performance. Today, again, backed it up. Boom, boom, boom. Eric Ten Hag is trusting the players that are delivering for him rather than anything to do with names. But in terms of names, man, welcome. There's a new name at Old Trafford, Anthony. Just to deliver with a goal like that on your debut in a game like that, as I say, it felt like Arsenal, United of old. This photo is fucking fantastic. It felt like United and Arsenal of old. The sheer quality of football on display. First 10 minutes of that first half, all United. Then Arsenal got a bit of a grip on the game. It was definitely a foul, by the way. Uh, for Arsenal's goal, you can't just come. Odegaard just, just trying to come through Ericsson to get to the ball. How, in any way, shape, or form, is that not a foul? Anybody arguing otherwise is just on. He's got the blinkers. They really, really do. But United there. Oh, Bruno was fantastic. That ball for Rashford's goal. Oh, <laughs> it made there's so much to put a big beaming smile on your face. Oh, a game of that intensity. Both of them. The game against Liverpool, the game against Arsenal. Games with massive intensity at Old Trafford. And we've come out on the right side of the battle. We haven't, it's been a long time since we've seen it. It's a long time since we felt it. But it was really good for Arsenal today. Gabriel Jesus gave Varane a lot of problems. Simply by just kept backing into him. He's going to be a good player for Arsenal this season. I think Arsenal fans, they're going to be frustrated. But I tell you... I tell, you what, I tell you what a massive difference this man was in that game there. The last 25 minutes of the game, when it was 2-1, that was just... Uh, and then Arsenal went all out, fucking throwing Smith Rowan and Ketia at three attacking subs by Arteta. <laughs> Arse fell out. 
Manchester United hit on the counter. That wonderful pass to release Ericsson. Who passed that? Was that Bruno? I don't know. It might have been Bruno. Ericsson, then Rashford made it 3-1. You're thinking, game management. It's all we need from game management. Bingo, bango. We had a bit of game management. I wouldn't say it was the best in the world. Mary Maguire came on and he got, he got a yellow. Casemiro came on. He looked a little bit off it. But we finished the game with three holding midfielders. And you can do that when you're 3-1 up. And you have a bit of game management. If that ball from Fred was a little bit better, it could have been 4-1. Ronaldo, fair play, man. Ronaldo, I liked his performance when he came off the bench there. I was surprised to see Anthony go off, but obviously he's not fit to play 90 minutes just yet. But Eric Ten Hag deserves some serious credit, in my opinion, for in-game management decisions, which I think enabled United to see out that last 10, 15 minutes better. Because Arsenal, in a lot of that game, they were the better team. Uh, and they'll probably feel aggrieved to come away from that with a 3-1 with a defeat. But Manchester United, man, that's the game where we've arrived. That's the game where we can have conversations about what Eric Ten Hag is building. We did it against Liverpool, and that was a huge game and significant moment. But you're like, mm, okay, well, that was a little bit of an out-of-form Liverpool. Can they go and do it away at Southampton? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. We go and win 1-0 away at Southampton. Oh, still concerned about the second half. Can they go and do it? Yeah, we can go and do it against Leicester as well. Another 1-0. Well, yeah, the second half. Can they do it against Yeah, we can do it against Arsenal too. No, I'm not getting overhyped. Oh, actually, I probably am. <laughs> That's a complete and utter. Why am I lying to myself? Of course I'm getting overhyped. Look at what we just saw at Old Trafford. Transfers being hits. Martinez. I love you, man. I absolutely love Martinez. Jeez. Feels like these players are just going in for a scrap. And that, that photo there. Hmm. Anthony announcing himself with that goal today. That's such a significant moment for him to get that early doors. And ladies and gents, right? If I'm not mistaken, Man United are two points behind City now. Early days in the season. You can never write anybody off so quick. Unless your name's Leicester. You can write them off. But after that 4-0 against Brentford, the response from this team as a collective, everybody to a man today, they fought for it. Everybody wanted it. Christian Eriksen. Ah, artiste. Absolute artiste. I can't believe he's still playing 90 minutes. Every, every starting 11 prediction. Like, surely Eriksen can't play 90 minutes. And he goes play 90 minutes. He'll now get rested against Sociedad. No doubt. Should be 100%. And come back fit and ready for that game against Crystal Palace. But just look at all the photos. I can keep going through all of them. I don't know which one is my favourite. Marcus Rashford. Let's speak about Marcus Rashford, man. Let's speak about him. He's been getting pelters. He was even getting pelters for the game against Leicester. And he goes and delivers like that. There you are, man. There he is. There's Marcus Rashford. More of it, man. Get back to your best. He was back to his best today. Pester in the defences, direct running, and the finishing when it mattered. Two goals and an assist. Assist in the last game. Rashford is delivering the numbers. And now when you add in this man into the mix and you add in Jaden Sancho I thought but of the three he had the quieter game but Jaden Sancho was still offering a threat a front three there of Sancho Rashford and Anthony Martial's coming back from injury Ronaldo judging by that last 25 minutes good there he is there he is I think Ronaldo can sense a bit of energy in the team now can sense you know what if we actually fucking back this manager 100% and we go to war with him this is what we can do Putting in the minimum, putting in 100% every game is the minimum that should be expected of any professional footballer, let alone Manchester United players. They're now doing that. And this is the consequence of that. Man United are scoring goals. Man United are winning game after game after game after game. Four in a row. Two clean sheets in there. New signings settling in well. And the newest of signings. Settling in with the perfect debut for him. What a moment that was at Old Trafford. Grabbing the badge. You saw what it meant on his face. And I feel a little bit hoarse after that game. That was a proper Arsenal United game. That's the best way I can describe it. Two, in my opinion, two top quality teams there. Oh, but we came out on top. That felt like a battle. And it felt like these players are fighting for General Ten Hag. Eric, man. Mwah. I love what he's doing. I love the work. Look, the work is paying off. All that preseason drills and training, we're seeing it in the football. We're seeing it in the results. Four wins from four. Bring on Crystal Palace, man. This is where the season can get started. We've set the minimum in these last, not, not the minimum, we've set the standard here in the last four games. Let's try and uphold it week in, week out. Let's bring that consistency because we found it here. But 
what a smile I've got on my face, man. <laughs> uh, and by the way, welcome to Manchester United, lad. Welcome aboard.